Okay, real quick video, um, crankshaft position sensor. This is on my 99 uh, Chevrolet K2500 4x4 with a 7.4. Um, I've done a couple videos on this, and um, this is the part uh, that I'll be replacing. Um, this is a crank sensor straight from um, uh, Advanced, which I'm not in the habit of really using Advanced uh, parts, but um, it was the place closest to where I broke down. So. Um, I was with the family and we were driving on a Friday night, of course, it's near Atlanta and man, uh, when that car quit, it's like, I'll never get a tow truck out here. So what am I going to do? Well, um, I happened to have a code reader with me. Um, the truck just stopped all of a sudden. And, uh, when that happened, I, um, tried to restart it and it was cranking real strong. I could smell fuel, but it wouldn't restart. So I ran the code reader and it came back with a, um, I think it was PO336, um, maybe, but it was a crankshaft position sensor code. And, uh, so thankfully the guy broke down in front of his house. Actually, uh, he drove me to an auto parts store, closest one. And, uh, I picked up, uh, a crankshaft position sensor for, uh, $83. And, uh, man pop that thing on there and we were good to go so i'm just going to show you real quick where it's at um this is the old uh crankshaft position sensor um that i've got here with me and it's actually um it's actually fallen apart it actually came apart as i was taking it off or perhaps um it actually came apart uh and that's why it broke but anyway it's supposed to look like this it's got a bracket um, obviously this one is really slimy from having oil on it. I had an oil leak that had just been fixed. And, uh, so anyway, um, look at that. I didn't use that. I wonder if that was important. <laughs> LOL. All right. So down here is the front of the vehicle. You're directly underneath and you can actually see the shiny bracket right there. So you've got, you know, your, your oil pan and then you've got your, um, shift actuator here and um then right up there yeah one bolt one plug take that crankshaft position sensor off and put the new one on you're good to go so hopefully that will help you um if you're in a bind and your truck won't start um i know that i was thankful that it was such a simple repair um but as soon as I turned the key, the truck started right back up and we've been good for a couple of weeks. So I'm really thankful that's all it was. All right. Well, God bless and hope that uh, this video is helpful.